Text Organization Assessment. Directions. Read each passage and answer the questions that follow. Adam's Closet. Adam's closet was so full that he could not find anything that was in it. His closet held a lot of clothes that no longer fit him. Adam's clo closet was also full of old toys, books, and shoes. Adam knew it was time to clean out his closet. He got rid of all his tight shirts and short pants. Adam also gave away all of his old toys and books. Now Adam's closet is nice and neat. He can find anything that is in it. Number one. Describe Adam's problem in the story. A. Adam lost his favorite baseball mitt. B. Adam grew out of all of his old clothes. C. Adam's closet had too much stuff in it and he can't find anything. D. Adam didn't have any friends. Passage 2. Get moving! My dog Shaka is very lazy. She likes to sleep on her dog bed all day and all night. Shaka does get up for a couple of reasons. When she sees me holding her leash, she stands up and wags her tail. Shaka knows that the leash must means she is going for a walk. Another thing that makes Shaka get off her bed is the sound of dog food hitting her bowl. She knows that sound means it is time for her to eat. Number two. What causes Shaka to get out of bed? A. A thunderstorm. B. When her owner comes home. C. Her leash and the sound of dog food. D. Dog food on the floor. Number three. How does the sound of dog food affect Shaka? A. She moves to the door ready for a walk. B. She gets out of her bed. C. She jumps up and down. D. Shaka eats as fast as she can. The next passage. Rhino versus Hippo. The rhinoceros is a large mammal. It only eats plants. It is found in both Africa and Asia. There are many kinds of rhinoceros. The black rhinoceros lives in woody areas. The white rhinoceros lives in water holes and the forest. The rhinoceros is famous for its horn. Some people kill the white rhinoceros for the horn. It needs to be saved. The hippopotamus is also a large mammal. It mostly eats plants. It is found in Africa. It can live in both water and mud or grass. The hippopotamus can run very fast. It can fight with many big animals. Some people hunt the hippopotamus. It also needs to be saved. Number four. Using the passage above, explain, explain one way the rhinoceros and hippo are alike and one way they are different. Use complete sentences and pause this recording so you can take your time. Next passage. Where do clouds come from? Look up in the sky. Do you see any clouds? What do they look like? Some clouds are fluffy and white like cotton balls. Others are dark, almost black, and make you grab an umbrella. At sunrise and sunset, clouds can look red, purple, or yellow, as if they were colored with crayons. But what are clouds anyway? You can't reach out and touch the clouds, but you can make your own in a bottle. You need an adult helper, a huge empty glass jar, metal strainer, hot water, ice cubes. Do this. Have your helper fill the jar with hot water. Leave it there for two minutes, then pour out most of the water, leaving just an inch or two at the bottom of the jar. Number two, it's your turn now. Put the strainer over the mouth of the jar. Fill the strainer with ice cubes. Watch the jar. What happened? A cloud formed in the jar. Some of the hot water at the bottom of the jar 
turned into hot water vapor. The water vapor rose and bumped into the cold air coming off the ice cubes. When the water vapor condensed, it formed a cloud. Hot air rises and carries with it lots of water vapor. The higher the air rises, the more it cools down. Soon the cold air can't hold all the water vapor, so it starts turning into tiny water drops and becomes a cloud. Vapor equals mist. Condensed equals change to liquid. Number five. Based on the passage, when is the best time to pour out some of the water? A. Right after filling the jar. B. About two minutes after filling the jar. C. Right before filling the strainer with ice cubes. D. When you are done watching the jar. Number six. Use a complete sentence to answer the question. Pause the recording to do your best work. What clues help you to know that this text is organized using the sequence structure? Number seven. Listen carefully to the question. Answer all parts. Be sure to take your time and use more than one sentence to complete your answer. Why do authors organize their nonfiction text differently? Meaning, why do some authors use compare and contrast? Why do some authors use cause and effect? Why do some authors use sequence to organize their text? Use examples to support your response.